This was a world teetering between two empires of electricity, AC and DC. One powered homes, the other industries. But neither could claim victory until a forgotten genius built the bridge no one thought possible. In the shadows of great power plants and glowing street lamps, Nikola Tesla imagined something no one dared. A machine that could unite these opposites. Not by replacing one, but by embracing both. A single generator, pulsing with the force to fuel dreams and factories alike. What he built didn't just generate power, it made history. And in this story, we'll uncover how Tesla rewired the world forever. A world divided by current. Before Tesla's breakthrough, the world of electricity was locked in a fierce rivalry. Thomas Edison championed direct current, DC. Simple, steady, and safe. Power flowed in one direction, perfect for light bulbs and early electric devices. But it came with limits. Transmission losses made it weak over distance. Then came alternating current, AC, pushed forward by Westinghouse and Tesla. It could travel miles, stepping voltage up or down with ease. But while AC was perfect for large-scale transmission, DC was deeply rooted in industries and city grids. The conflict wasn't just technical. It was economic, political, and emotional. People had invested fortunes in DC systems. Cities ran on DC appliances. Factories relied on DC motors. Tesla's own invention, the AC induction motor, was more efficient, but needed a two-phase AC supply to function. That was a problem. DC plants ruled the landscape. Nobody wanted to tear them down for a new system. The world stood divided. Tesla had created a masterpiece with no stage to perform on. His invention needed a miracle, or perhaps it needed something far more powerful, a bold redesign of the generator itself. The induction motor with nowhere to go. Tesla's AC induction motor was revolutionary. It required no brushes, no commutators, just a rotating magnetic field that turned with astonishing efficiency. It ran cooler, lasted longer, and performed better than its DC counterparts. Engineers were intrigued. Industrialists were impressed. But there was one giant catch. It needed a two-phase AC power supply to run. And that didn't exist in most places. Power plants were built around DC systems. Transmission lines, household wiring, and factory equipment are all made for one-way current. Asking companies to rebuild entire infrastructures just to adopt Tesla's motor was a hard sell. Even the most forward-thinking business owners balked at the cost. Tesla's vision was too far ahead. His invention was stranded in a world that wasn't ready. He had created a perfect engine for a power supply that didn't exist. However, where others saw failure, Tesla saw opportunity. What if, instead of demanding the world change for his motor, he changed the way electricity was made? What if he could rework the generators sitting in those DC plants and reshape them into dual machines capable of producing both types of current? It was a bold idea, but Tesla never lacked boldness. Enter the power plant. Tesla walked into the DC power station like a man with a secret. He wasn't there to criticize or condemn. He came to observe, to understand the heart of the machine. The plant owner showed him the three core generators, each designed differently but all dedicated to producing DC power. One used a toroidal armature coil wrapped with precision around insulated iron rings. Another arrangement of separate coils with symmetrical joints. The third was simpler, built with only three coils sharing a common point. Each machine had been fine-tuned over the years and trusted to power cities and industries. But Tesla saw something no one else did. He saw potential, not in scrapping them, but in transforming them. He imagined threading new wires through their iron hearts, tapping into the spinning motion already present. If he could just extract AC from these existing setups, he could bring his motor to life, without forcing industries to change their entire system. No demolition, no massive cost, just evolution through innovation. The idea sparked in his mind like a lightning bolt, a way to bridge the old and the new, to fuse two rival worlds inside a single spinning machine. 
The modifications begin. Tesla rolled up his sleeves and began the transformation. No fanfare, just focus. At the first generator, he connected two pairs of wires to the toroidal coil and placed them diametrically opposite. He drilled into the shaft, threading those wires through its core, painstaking work. At the end, he attached four contact rings to channel the current outward. Then, he turned to the second generator, repeating the process. The wires here are connected to coil ends linked to the commutator. More holes, more threading, more rings. Finally, the third, simpler in design, trickier in application. Three coils, one common point. Tesla connected one wire to the joint, the other three to each coil end. Holes drilled, wires threaded, rings installed. He didn't just modify them, he reinvented them. These old DC machines now had a new identity. They could still deliver the familiar DC flow, but now also an alternating rhythm. They were no longer just generators. They were hybrids, machines that spoke both languages of power. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The first test of dual power. The air in the power plant felt electric, charged with tension and hope. Tesla was ready. One by one, the generator spun to life. He connected a DC bulb and a two-phase AC motor to the first generator. The bulb flickered, then glowed. The motor hummed, then roared. It worked. He did the same on the second generator. A steady DC current lit the bulb, while the AC motor turned with precision. The third was different. He connected a three-phase AC motor and a DC bulb. This unique generator performed flawlessly, delivering dual streams of power like it was born for it. What powered this miracle wasn't just electricity, it was a trace of residual magnetism hidden in the iron core. That tiny magnetic presence sparked the current, which energized the coils strengthening the flux. A self-exciting loop ignited by Tesla's vision. The room was silent. Then. Applause. Tesla had done the impossible. He hadn't chosen sides in the current war. He ended it. Unveiling the DC process. Now came what Tesla loved most, explaining the forces that made it all work. He began with a simple concept, how DC current is generated. Standing beside the first generator, he asked the plant owner to imagine nine magnetic field lines between the field magnets, though in reality, there were thousands. At the magnetic gap center, the field was strongest. As the coil rotated clockwise, the field lines sliced through it. According to Faraday's law, this movement induced a current. Using Fleming's right-hand rule, Tesla showed how the current in each half of the coil flowed in opposite directions, forming a unified path through the brushes and into the bulb. That current didn't just light the bulb, it energized the magnets, forming a self-sustaining loop. No external magnet needed, just motion and genius. The brushes met the commutator segments at exact moments, making the current flow in one steady direction, DC power. This, Tesla said, was the beauty of self-exciting generators. A closed circuit, a complete idea, but he wasn't done yet. The dance of alternating current. Tesla's eyes gleamed as he turned to AC. He pointed to the added wires, silent conductors ready for something new. At a certain rotation point, only the red coil wires were active. The magnetic field cut through them, inducing current in a set direction. The green wires? Dormant. As the armature rotated, red current faded. Green surged to life. The magnetic field is now linked with the green wires, reversing flow. Tesla traced the paths, red current dropping, green climbing. Then it flipped. Green dropped, red returned, but in reverse. This was alternating current. A current that didn't stay still, but reversed every half turn. No commutator, no brush switching, just natural oscillation through motion and magnetism. Each generator now delivers this elegant rhythm effortlessly. AC and DC coexist in real time. The generators weren't just machines. They were musical instruments. 
Tesla had turned coils into cords, rotation into tempo, and energy into symphony. Electricity was no longer a current, it was a performance. Powering the future, one revolution at a time. The demonstration ended, but the ripple had just begun. These modified generators stood as proof. The AC versus DC war didn't need a winner. Tesla had solved the unsolvable. He didn't demand that industries abandon DC. He gave them the power to adapt. With one machine now delivering both currents, factories could run DC tools and adopt AC for motors and transmission. Cities no longer had to choose. They could evolve. Tesla's invention wasn't just brilliance. It was strategy, a quiet revolution. The plant owner stared at the machines, once familiar, now transformed. Engineers would study them, investors would take notice, power grids would shift. These weren't just tools, they were symbols. Tesla hadn't just broken rules, he transcended them. With copper and conviction, he rewrote how power would flow. This wasn't a compromise, it was genius. The generators spun, quiet yet powerful, whispering a future where technology adapts, not divides. In uniting what once opposed, Tesla showed the world what true innovation looked like. Tesla didn't just dream of the future, he built it with his own hands. In a world gripped by a battle of currents, he chose harmony over victory. His dual generator wasn't just a machine, it was a message. That innovation doesn't always mean replacing the old, it can mean transforming it. From the hum of a motor to the glow of a bulb, his vision powered both. Today, every spinning turbine and every glowing city carries a piece of his legacy. Because one man dared to unite what the world thought was divided, and in doing so, lit the path forward.